Are you coming in or are you going to hang out there now? Huh? What are you doing? What do you smell? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. I'm going to really try to make a brief video today to show you Cochise, give you an update, and talk a little bit about Miss Cora, little Cora Bell, and uh, what we're doing right now and why. It's the day before St. Patrick's Day. You wouldn't know it. You'd feel like it's the day before Christmas. It's so cold. So I'm going to see how he's doing, show you an update on him, and uh, let's get the day started. It's a mess. Say good morning. Say good morning. We're moving everybody around and feeding everybody separate like we always do and getting everybody out. So he's been out. He was chilling in the barn and I'm bringing him back out again. So here's the deal guys. Um, if you've kept up with our videos and man, I need my gloves. Where are they? Um, he was just neutered two weeks ago. This is our Great Pyrenees. And I have lots of videos on him to update you in terms of him, what we've done, how old he is, everything. So let's go out here in the field. So we've gotten a new LGD, Miss Cora. You love her. I know, and she's cute. We have not brought her to the barn yet. And the reason being is because we are making sure that this fella is fully recovered from his surgery. Um, fully balanced in terms of hopefully his hormones initially and back use to our property. All of these things are happening, but I will tell you it's thrown us for a little bit of a loop. You can see how he's watching everything, everything. So we got Miss Cora on Saturday and I will tell you this boy is very different. And with the cold weather, number one, and number two, um, we wanted to make sure that we were just regulating him. He did well in surgery. He has recovered physically, but I, we honestly, between talking to some close friends and the folks that are over my LGD group, um, it is very obvious. Where are you going? It's very obvious that he has been stressed. Okay. The last thing that I want to do is bring a new dog into the barn with a potentially stressed Great Pyrenees. Uh, no, you know, these are not pound puppies y'all. Okay. You know that you, you are very well aware you're, this is an educated crowd, uh, understanding what the breeds of LGDs are, their, their role, what they do versus your house pet, your mountain dog, uh, your, uh, your <laughs> not your hunting dog. You know, we have all of these things here too, and there's distinct differences, uh, with these animals. They're incredible. You have to take them very serious. He's very serious now. Um, he got a little ornery, not with me or my children, but with the chickens. You could just tell he uh, was very much moving into a new role, okay? Um, and he needs to be, you know, considered first. So Cora, <laughs> we want to see you, babe. Cora is in the house. I don't, I'm not going to make any bones about it. She is right now in the house. We are loving on her, and we are taking this one day at a time as opposed to jumping the gun. You cannot jump the gun on these things. I will tell you that I am all for spaying and neutering. <laughs> are you guarding me today? Is that what you're doing? I'm going to brush you in just a minute. Um, I am all for spay and neuter. I think that's what you need to do. I think that's the route to go. Uh, I'm not going to deny that, but I think that once you get an LGD um, and you know for a fact that you're not going to breed, which most people do not need to breed, um, you need to get them spayed or neutered at around a year. I think him waiting at two um, was a little tough on him. I'm glad we did it. I'm glad it's over. I think it's the right thing to do. I just wish we'd done it a little bit sooner. So I wanted to show you this fella. I will show you Cora. Everybody is doing really well, but I wanted to answer multiple questions uh, to let you know he's doing well. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is what he does. This is what they do. There's a farm up the road that has about 200 sheep and they've got an LGD, uh, Great Pyrenees, just like this. And every time you drive by, he's just laying down. But they're not asleep, folks. They watch in here everything don't you yes yes i do Mwah. give you kisses all right guys just wanted to show you what's going on here come on let's go walk say lady i've already done this today it's time for me to chill with my chickens right all right guys thanks for watching check us out on facebook instagram and pinterest 
we'll show you Miss Cora next. She's in there just having some good old days uh, with some good old loveys. And, you know, I kind of like that. She's around my kids a lot right now. I want that. She's a serious dog as well. And she's gotten used to my other dogs, so she knows they're not a threat. So we will move to the next phase if we feel it's appropriate and when it is appropriate. Say bye. Say bye, 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 bye. Say bye. All right, guys, y'all have a great morning. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. I'm getting knocked around in the mud. Hey, the Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference. The most knowledgeable, knowledgeable people you will find that you see on the internet, that you see writing books by story publishing, everywhere. Hey, they're in that group. They run that group. And Miss Anna is going to teach you everything you need to know about how to be successful with such a beast like this. We'll see you on May the 6th. <laughs> I love you too. Come on. Hey. Hey, Sleeping Beauty. Oh, I heard that stretch. What are you doing? Let's go outside. You ready to go? <laughs> Come on. Let's go outside. You need to go outside. Yes, you sweet thing. Come on, Cora.